Okay, what's up all you crazy YouTubers? Jordan and Crowder Fusion here. Uh, I haven't been feeling well lately, but I've worked on these pieces last couple days. Sorry, I mean, I don't have my earbuds, my microphone in. Um, you can see this one, I did some swoosh lines and some, uh, I carved a dragonfly down here. It's not finished yet, still got to put detail on the dragonfly. But I thought for this one, I will um, do a butterfly. Simple shape, I might put some little bit of details in it, but, um, and some more swoosh lines. I think I'll just do time lapse, but for this, I want to say it's better to strip the outside of the wood off first if you got a bigger saw or a 170. Like skin the wood. I'm going to try and get rid of most of the water wood. So you'll see me with my big, uh, bigger medium sized saw skimming the wood, cleaning it all up. Then I can start doing the carving. Because you don't know what's underneath the bark. bark if bugs have gotten in there and started eating the softer wood, right? So, anyways, carry on. Time lapse coming up. So there's a better view of the dragonfly. I said I'll put detail in there after. And then I'll get rid of all this wood here. This uh, white wood. All this. I'll skin it. Because you don't know. It's sometimes the water wood's not as good as the heartwood. Okay. Okay, so there you go. I'm just going to stand here for a bit and let the uh, smoke clear out. But yep, carry on. Okay, so butterfly time. I look at this carving over here and I got that uh, uh, dragonfly to that side. So maybe I want to make the, kind of make them a pair, right? So that's on the outside. The dragon's on the outside. So I'll make this one on the outside of this one. And, um, so you can see here, this is the water wood and this is the heart wood. This water wood's pretty stable, so I'll incorporate it to the carving. But really check your carvings, because sometimes this wood gets really punky and rotten before the heart wood gets uh, rotten. I don't know if I've really grown a butterfly before. I don't think it can be that hard, can it? I'm just doing the silhouettes, I'm not doing my crazy detailed stuff. So and then the butterfly wings. Yes. Kind of the silhouette of one. I don't know. I'll make his body. I'll make the body skinnier. Make it extend. Uh... This thing's here. So it's good to have two different types of pens. Even two different types of colors. I don't know. Should have bigger wings. I'll figure it out. I had these weird dreams the other night about getting abducted by aliens. Yeah, I had to go through all these tests, like on benches, like they'd have me laying on tables. I forget the first test, but the last thing that they were going to do is put a piece of rubber over my face and 
they put a piece of rubber my over over my face. It was like I was lying on a metal table, and the rubber was coming. Say this is my face. The rubber was coming down. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. And then uh, the rubber was on my face. I couldn't breathe, but I was still alive. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Whatever. Aliens. Ugh. I don't know. I'll figure this out. It's raining! What do you guys think? Think it looks like a butterfly? You can tell that uh, top wing's a little bit too big. Can't even see that wing. Or his, the other wings, I guess. Anyways, I'll clean up that wing, then we'll start doing our S lines or whatever you call it. It's raining, yes! Maybe I'll stay home tomorrow in bed and lie in bed all day. I don't know, I'd kind of like to make these two a bench, but they're five foot, almost five and a half foot logs. So I don't know if they'd be too tall for a bench. Like make a wicked back on them. Like a pointy thing. So anyways, like I want this to be a set. If somebody buys them both, well, that's wicked. If they don't, that's fine. So I see these lines are kind of going this way. On, we're talking about the far one, they're kind of going this way. So this one, I want them to be coming this way. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I also got this, uh, the wishing well done too. So he, he'll be here to pick it up in a week or so. I'll show you guys that another time. All right, it's coming down pretty good. Sure is. We needed this in British Columbia. I hope it's going to go up to the interior too. I gotta fix up that uh, friggin' thing. Friggin' butterfly. It's all warped. Anyways, carry on. You just stay right there. You're not allowed in here. Okay. No, no. All right. Looks like the back trunch is working pretty good. The warehouse is keeping all the wood dry. Carbon Fusion Warehouse. Fully loaded. Shall not pass this line right here. Don't come past this line, okay? So that's going to be a wrap for me today. So these are about five and a half, well I measured them, they're five and a half feet exactly. So do you think that they're too big to make a bench? Or should I just sell them as uh, individual pieces? I'm kind of, uh, well, pissed off. I don't really care, but the dragonfly is pointing that way and so is the butterfly is pointing that way. It's supposed to be, they're supposed to be off, facing opposite directions. like. Oh well, who cares? I wasn't gonna make a video today, but I just thought I'd make one just to say hello to everybody. Hope you guys are all doing good and uh, uh, just enjoying the rest of the summer while you got it. Thank God we got some rain here in British Columbia, Canada, because I don't know if you see in the news, we're just like, uh, I hope it's in the interior because we're just bombarded with forest fires. Um, so many people are losing their houses. Uh, I had a friend that lost his house. He just bought it six months ago. The town of uh, Lillooet and his house burnt down. But his first house, next thing you know, thing burns down. It's life, I guess. I'd hate to say it, but I uh, hope you guys are all good. 
I don't know if this is going to be a one part video. I'll make it a two part video because I still got to do all the detail. I got to. Also, another thing I want to say too is like when you draw on the butterfly or whatever you want to draw on a star or a moon or a crayfish, a lobster, a freaking sea turtle, make sure you draw it on proportionate at first because if you draw it on proportionate, you, 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 you do true to the, say your drawings here and you cut true to the line with your saw blade, then you're going to have it, it's, then it's mint. Instead of just doing something half-assed like I did with that, now I got to keep on looking at it and adjusting it and stuff. It just saves a lot of time to draw it on first, be the best first, so it's good. Anyways, hope you guys are all good, and uh, I guess I'll try and finish these up tomorrow. Do some detail in that drag. Not much detail. It already says what it is. You know. Car infusion. Over and out. Hope you guys are all good. See you later. I just carved Rob Apex Studio on the lake.